Okay, so the title of this video is uh, What in the Hell Do the Young Turks Do When the Blue Flu Comes for Them? So the title of their video is Cops Walk Off Job to Protest Killer Cops Arrest. This is over the Rashad Brooks killing, which is way different than the George Floyd killing. But apparently Anna in her tiny little mind can't see the difference. But whatever, let's do this. The former police officer, Garrett Rolfe, uh, who fatally shot Rayshard Brooks, has uh, now been charged felony charges, uh, murder, and also... And by the way, it's bullshit if you bother to actually be honest about the case. So, um, making him the second white officer to face murder charges. Um, yeah, this, this time the charges won't stick. The Atlanta DA way overcharged. There was no criminality to it. Your own video proved it, by the way. After violent confrontations and encounters uh, with people on the streets who didn't need to lose their lives. Uh, no. Brooks was drunk in a Wendy's drive-thru asleep. Uh, he then uh, was cordial with the cops, but then when it was clear he was going to the penitentiary because he violated either probation or parole, um... He got violent, he fought with the cops, beat the shit out of them, stole one of their tasers, and then turned around and fired said taser at him. When you do all that, yeah, you're going to lose your life. End of story. Because of what they were doing. And so uh, the murder charge apparently has really upset members of the Atlanta Police Department, and we're learning- Yeah, because apparently the Atlanta DA is doing everything in his power to make cops' lives miserable. And what are you going to do? What What are you going to do, Anna, if, if, you, if you left this idiot to get what you want? And the police are no longer a thing. What, what do you get? What do you want? Because it ain't going to go well for you. Because none of you people have guns. I believe your boss said, fuck the NRA, take their guns. So Jank Uger wants the populace completely de-armed, but no police. This will end well. Learning uh, that many of them are calling in uh, sick to work. Okay, so let and me just should. give you a little context, and then I'll tell you what we're hearing about when it comes to the police department. Fulton County District Attorney. Oh, I'm sure this will be unbiased reporting. Attorney Paul Howard announced 11 charges against Rolf, uh, the officer accused of shooting Rayshard Brooks in a Wendy's parking lot Friday night. Um, so he specifically said, we have concluded at the time Mr. Brooks was shot, that he did not pose an imminent threat of death or serious physical injury to the officer or officer. He shot a taser at them and I had already beaten them up. This same attorney, this same jackass, Paul Howard, said literally two weeks beforehand when a cop shot a, a resisting arrest suspect um, with a taser. He's like, well, a taser's a deadly weapon. Well, which is it? Or do you or do you or is is is, is a taser only uh lethal to black people who are resisting arrest, but cops can just walk that shit off like it's a cold? No, you have a standard. He chose to fight a death match with a cop. He lost. End of story. That's the reason why he's facing a murder charge. Brooks was running away and he got shot in the back twice. Now the law firm- The best that you could hope for. The be utter, utter best. And this wouldn't even stick, but would be manslaughter. Murder, you have to prove intent. Uh, representing him, uh, the cop, uh, went to, on to say that Rolf was actually acting in self-defense. Uh, here's the law firm statement. Fearing for his safety and the safety of the civilians around him, Officer Rolf dropped his taser and fired- No, he didn't have his taser. Uh, the other guy had his taser. Fired his service weapon. I like that. Or he, had, or he got the taser from the other cop. You showed a video showing uh, fucking raw, uh, whoever the fuck, Brooks. You showed him firing the damn taser. 
I know. I covered the video on this channel. Euphemism at the only portion of Mr. Brooks that presented to him, Mr. Brooks is back. His, but yeah, that happened because he was running away. That, like, when your back is presented. Let me get this straight. So, according to the Young Turks, you're supposed to let a drunk driver just run away after he resisted arrest. Well, then, son of a bitch, why do we have uh, drunk driving laws? to someone in a situation like that you're not a threat to them you're running away and in the case of of this shooting brooks was running away we saw the video anyway um so again people are not reacting well to these charges and when i say people i specifically Christ. do they ever fucking stop asking for money that's what this whole ticker is the cops. And so uh, Katie Shepard from the Washington Post reports that the city was left scrambling to cover absences as the Atlanta Police Department tried to tamp down rumors of mass police of a mass police walkout that spread widely on social media. Well, geez, maybe if the mayor and the city attorney had the cops back, they wouldn't feel the need to do this now, would they? So numbers about how many of them didn't show up haven't been released yet. Uh, but the police department has declined to answer questions about it. Mayor uh, Keisha. And honestly, honestly, why would anyone be a cop at this point? And then what do you do, Anna? You're not physically strong enough to fight. I mean, the best you can do is uh, rip off all your clothes, spread your legs and say, which hole? Lance Bottoms uh, did speak to reporters about this, but did not release any specific numbers of people calling in sick and refusing to report to work. Here's what she said. Uh, we do have enough officers to cover us through the night. Our streets won't be any less safe because of the number of officers who called out. We have other partners across the metropolitan area, including assistance from the state and from the county and from other jurisdictions, so we'll be fine. And the Atlanta Police Department posted an update on Twitter, mostly denying that they're- Didn't they also have 47 officers resign? They're acting out in any way. They say earlier suggestions that multiple officers from each zone had walked off the job were inaccurate. The department is experiencing a higher than usual number of call outs with- Yeah, uh, also you might wanna talk to the 911 people because a lot of calls went unanswered. And then what is the wife that's getting the shit beat out of her supposed to do when there's no cops to protect her? With the incoming shift, we have enough resources to maintain operations and remain able to respond to incidents. But it's funny because the police union spokesperson spoke out and seemed to confirm that this was um, meant to speak out against uh, the decision to charge the cop in the case. Uh, so as an NBC reporter tweeted, um, ATL police union spokesman Vince Champion tells me that the officers around the city are protesting the charges announced against officers Rolf and Brosnan. He says they're walking off the job, not responding to calls unless backup is needed and going silent on the radios. I yeah, don't, so uh, let's take this one by one. I, I don't fucking blame them. They can't do their jobs. What are they supposed to do to stop an enraged lunatic? What, use harsh fucking language? And even the uh, head of the police, not the union, but the head of the police clearly said that there are more uh, uh, people uh, not coming into work. There's no question about it. So is there a walkout? Yes. Now the police union confirming, yes, we're doing uh, a walkout. Well, yeah, because Officer Rolf did his duty. Uh, Brooks decided to fucking fight a death match rather than go into the clink. Unless you want to say that just because a suspect is running away, the cops can't shoot him. Boy, that's going to backfire on you fucking horribly, Jank. Oh, he stabbed 39 people. Wait, he's running away. Nothing we can do. Sorry, nothing we can do. Yeah, how long before the mob comes for you, jackass? Walk out on purpose. And by the way, we're going into work and not responding when someone is in grave danger. Oh, uh, we let him die. I, I, again, uh, Anna can just get down on her knees and take a man gravy facial. I, you don't have that option. Well, we're not going to do our jobs. Why? Because our feelings are hurt. Oh, that, well, number one, uh, you should immediately be fired. I don't care why your feelings are hurt.
Uh, if you're not... They're not hurt feelings. Right now, if the cop does his duty, his job, what he swore to do, he can be charged with murder. When you steal a cop's taser, you've signed your own death warrant. Are tasers deadly weapons or are they not? Because, and I've seen the Young Turks flip-flop on this too. You can't have a taser be nothing one minute and it be a deadly weapon the next just to fit your fucking narrative. Okay? Not willing to do any job, you should definitely be fired. Uh, number two, um, that's funny coming from you actually, because you went berserk when your employees wanted to unionize. But haven't you supported several striking workers? Weren't you the one saying, Yeah, Amazon workers should strike? But it's not okay if it's your employees or police officers. Got it, right. If you're not willing to do a job where people's lives are on the line and you're choosing not to respond because oh my feelings are hurt, oh I'm so oh my god, if we do get rid of cops, Chank Chank Uger's is going to have his ass kicked the, in about five minutes after that. So, sad. so I'm going to let and I got news for you, Jank. You you you're not going to fucking you, you, I I know you can't fight. Eight. Robbed, mugged, etc. You idiots want to defund and disband the police. Okay? You've, you've specific... Black Lives Matter has specifically said that. The city council of Minneapolis specifically voted to do that. Now, they're probably going to backtrack that real quick, real quietly. But, yeah, you guys don't want cops. You want to make it impossible for cops to do their jobs and then get pissy when the cops say, fine, fuck it, we won't go to work. Go fuck yourself. What do you want cops to do when the husband is beating the living fuck out of his wife and he's not listening to commands? Or there's a guy terrorizing a Walmart because he's high on PCP? Or two, gang, uh, two rival gangs get into a shooting match? What are the cops supposed to do? Just let it happen? Or talk to them nicely? Use de-escalation? No, they're going to get shot at. But you know, Jank, I'd love for you to actually be a cop for a fucking week. Seriously. With your fucking volatile temper and you not being able to handle a, you can't even handle an opinion that fucking you disagree with we all seen the video of you shouting at the elderly trump supporter or the elderly old man who disagreed with you what what was your go to oh yeah you're a bigot you're a bigot i'm Jake Uger. you're a bigot I stand for equality and social justice, even though I named my company after a genocide, a group of genocidal murderers. And I'm Anna Katsperian, I'm Armenian, but I'll suck the dick of the people that genocided my people because Jake pays me $600,000 a year. Fired immediately? Fired immediately. It shouldn't even be close question, okay? And number three, why were your feelings hurt? Now I don't get to shoot people in the back. Is that what you're telling me? Now I gotta work. He was running away. He had an officer's taser. What do you want them to do in that scenario? There is no one in this country that doesn't look at this. Okay, there's a few. But unless that, ju that jury is made up entirely of Black Lives Matter lunatics... You're never going to get a fucking conviction. Worry about like. Also, wasn't it eight months ago when you people were bitching and complaining about the clerk at the Dollar General store who shot and killed an armed shoplifter and said, why did this guy have a gun at work? But you want to get rid of police. You don't want police to have weapons. So what the fuck are the rest of us supposed to do? May I ask, Jank, do you hire private security? Do you live in a gated community that is patrolled by private security? 
Does TYT have private security? It's fine if it does, that's your right, but you're kind of being a fucking hypocrite when you say people like me can't buy guns. I can't just murder people and get away with it? How am I supposed to do my job? Um, it wasn't murder. It was a death sentence. If this was two civilians, one had a stun gun, one had a real gun, um, it'd be ruled clear-cut self-defense. And also, why is it always one single narrative? White officer, black per black perpetrator. Any other combination, you people don't give a shit. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's not a few bad apples. All of these cops are saying that they find it outrageous that they're not allowed to shoot people in the back. Cenk, I hate you so fucking so it's much. it's so outrageous that they're letting... This is why you're going to get a shellacking in, the, in November. This shit right here. The American people are not this stupid. They, uh, the media and you guys have had to flip-flop so fucking much, so fucking quick, do complete 180s. So fucking frequently, I don't think the American people are this fucking stupid. And yeah, is Trump a rude, crude dude? Yeah, I'm the first one to say yes, he is. Does he act presidential? Not particularly. But then again... The left is saying, oh, let the Chaz exist, or the Chop, or the Chippy, or the Chappy, or whatever the fuck those losers are calling themselves now. Not doing a damn thing to stop it. Meanwhile, in that area, sexual assaults go through the roof, extortions go through the roof, people just loot stores because they're dirty, smelly hippies that would rather take drugs than get a job. You have... The left openly talking about disbanding the police department, defunding, whatever you want to call it, getting rid of cops. You have another group of leftists making it impossible for cops to do their fucking jobs. Then you have you guys and other people on the left saying we want to increase gun control, making it harder for law-abiding citizens to be able to protect themselves. Meanwhile, the criminals have no problem getting guns because criminals, Jank, despite your delusion, don't go to the fucking sporting goods store and get their fucking guns. They don't go to outdoor sportsmen's or Dick Sporting's Goods or Walmart or wherever the else they fucking sell guns. No, they get them illegally. And it's not that hard. This is why... This is why these people need to be destroyed. This is why I wanted Bernie Sanders to be the presidential nominee. Because I honestly think it would have led to a shellacking by Trump. That Bernie... That, that this movement, this, this side of the Democrats would have died. And they would have had to move slight, and they would have had to move further to the right. Anyway, letting people commit crimes, presumably including murder and rape, without responding, and so, well, that's happening in the Chaz. But apparently, you don't care. The fact that they're not already fired is an unbelievable outrage. The fact that you're still in business despite the fact that you lost $60 million is an unbelievable outrage, you fucking loser. What are you spending the money on? I mean, there can't be that much blow and that many hookers in Thailand. If you're not going to do your job... I mean, even if, even if you went through all the female hookers and all the ladyboy hookers and all the midget hookers and all the ladyboy midget hookers. It's just not that much. I mean, and they charge what? Four, 425 for sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky? And that's $4.25. You know, conversion rates. We should do an investigation, fire, find out every person who did not respond to a call or... I don't know. Anna's looking pretty bony. Maybe she's blowing the money on heroin. I don't know. ...had a fake sick call that when they weren't actually sick, and it obviously removed them. Obviously. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise, yep. don't talk to me about a few bad apples. Don't talk to me about how it's not all police. And then Except this shooting was justified. You didn't see officers call out with the George Floyd thing. This is the problem. You refuse to look at evidence that does not go to your narrative. This is why Twitter needs to be just shut down. Facebook too. Fuck it. Or news needs to be banished from these sites. And just have people tweeting about their dicks and their morning jerk-off sessions. This is why. Because right now the Young Turks are so in their bubble. And this is why I think Jenk stopped doing debates at Politicon, to be brutally honest. Is because they're so in their bubble. All the evidence, and I'm an evidence guy. That's why I still say George Floyd's uh, death was probably murder. That's what the evidence at least is saying. Now, if there's evidence to the contrary, I would still say it's, it's, um, honestly, they need to release the body cam footage to the public if they have not already. I'm not going to watch it, but I'll just read other people's opinions on it. But, you know, I I'm sorry, when in the hell did, did the average person decide that Evidence wasn't for them. We're just going to go on feelings versus evidence. There's nothing wrong with the culture, and we just have to do tweaks. No, obviously tweaks are not enough. The entire culture of policing in this country is rotten to its core. They believe they can murder us and get away with it, and they're outraged when they can I mean, there didn't you call the cops yourself on an old man because he disagreed with you and kind of wrecked your narrative because you couldn't debate him on ideas, you know, but you wanted to be a representative in this in the House of Representatives. And didn't you get fired for not being able to handle people with a different opinion than yours? Because, you know, you suck outraged by democracy. The, look, the protests, they're supposed to believe in our democratic process and being able to go out there and demonstrate and protest, even if it's against them and their culture is supposed to be something that they want to protect, right? Yeah, legally, they have to protect a peaceful protest. You are allowed under the Constitution to peacefully protest anyone, be it cops, FBI, CIA, the president himself. You are allowed to do that. However, they don't peacefully protest. It quickly devolves into a riot. When that happens and the Molotovs start getting thrown and the windows start getting smashed, yeah, then the cops need to be stepped. Need to step in. And honestly, I blame every single fucking leftist, fucking DA, every leftist fucking mayor, every leftist fucking whatever that did not throw the book at these fuckers when this shit started at in colleges. Now it's spilled out into the real world, or at least in these leftist cities. You better hope somebody like me never becomes president, because I'd say, fuck it. You riot, you get 20 years. I'd sign an executive order having a minimum sentence of that. You riot, you loot, you burn shit to the ground, guess what? 20 years. You tear a statue down, 20 years. I don't care. I'll build I'll build prisons all over this motherfucker. We got we got the great states of Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. Ah, we'll leave Colorado alone. With all these desert states that are, like, really flat, we'll build the fucking prisons out there in the middle of nowhere. We'll have adequate food and water bust in. You'll make, I don't know, something. Bobbleheads. But no, you get 20 fucking years. End of story. 
I mean, I, I just don't understand people who claim they're pro-democracy and they celebrate the supposed freedoms we have. Well, we're not a democracy, Anna. Stop saying that we are. It shows that you don't know shit about this country and what we actually are. We're actually a constitutional republic. But then again, let's be clear. You didn't get this job because of your brains. You got it because you could suck Jenks dick like no other. And I'm being literal. We have in this country, but then they'll be the first people who speak out against these types of demonstrations. And no, as long as they're peaceful and don't fuck with anyone else, they can protest all they like. Promote state sponsored violence against citizens, right? That's essentially what this is. No one is saying that Brooks resisting arrest was okay. He should have been in custody. Yeah, but he ran away with a weapon. What do you want him to do? But there's a way to do your job as a cop that would lead to him safely being under custody and he'll have his day in court. And um, He was cordial up until the moment they tried to gently arrest him. Then he started to fight. He had no intention of being arrested peacefully. What the hell do you want the cop to do? Chase him for 30 blocks? While he has a taser? No, he intended to either get away or die on this hill. He made his choice. He's a grown man. And he'll face the consequences that way, right? The argument here is no cop should be able to just shoot and kill someone on the streets. Unless they pose an imminent threat. Oh my god, he had an officer's taser. I'm sorry, but two weeks ago that attorney said a taser, and I believe you people have said that a taser is a lethal weapon. So which is it? You can't keep changing shit around to fit your fucking narrative. Why the hell do you think I started drinking the last time I debated Chud Logic? To that cop. And an imminent threat means they have a lethal weapon. They have the cop. Uh, uh they did. Um, in their grip. And uh, he spiked one of their skulls on the ground, gave one of them a concussion. I don't know which one. It's it's a real threat. This person and beat the shit out of the other one. So, yeah, he's crossed that line. So he's met two of your criteria. When does he get to shoot? Is gonna kill this cop, right? That is not what happened in the case. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, sure. He didn't grab a gun and stand over him to finish the job. That's fucking stupid. He's already shown lethal intent. And in the video you showed, it was pretty clear he fired the taser at the officers. He stopped running, turned around, and fired the taser at him. If that had been a gun, one of those officers could have very well been dead. But you don't give a fuck about dead cops, now do you? You fucking come gargling Armenian bitch. That ends this one. I, I, I'm done with this. I, I can only do so much Young Turks.